Okay, here we're going to look a little bit more at regular Markov chains, and I'm just going to do an application problem just to tie everything together again. So, suppose there's a new rapid transit system that's just started operating, and in the first month of operation, it's found that 25% of commuters are using the system, and so therefore 75% still travel by some other mode of uh, of of transport, and we'll just assume they're using automobiles. So the following transition matrix was determined from records of other rapid transit systems. So maybe they look at other cities that have this, uh, this rapid uh, transit system, and they come up with the following transition matrix. So uh, it, what it says is, it says, going from one month to the next month, it says if somebody uses rapid transit, there's an 80% uh, probability that they'll continue using rapid transit, and there's a 20% chance that they'll switch back to an automobile. Likewise, if they are using an automobile initially, it says there's a 30% chance that they'll switch to rapid transit, and if they use an automobile originally, there's a 70% chance uh, that they'll keep using an automobile. So we're going to answer the following uh, three questions. First, we're going to figure out what's the initial state matrix. We're going to figure out what percentage of commuters will be using the new system after one month and after two months. And probably what people would be interested in is we're going to find the percentage of commuters using each type of transportation after it's been in service for a quote-unquote long time. Okay. So to come up with the initial state matrix, S sub 0, we just look at the the proportion of people that were using uh, the rapid transit and the proportion of people that are using automobiles. So again, we've got rapid transit first and automobiles next. So when we label, we'll have rapid transit first and automobiles next. So it said that 25% or 0.25, um, so 25%, or we'll use 0.25, are using uh, the, the rapid transit, and therefore 75% or 0.75 are using automobiles. So that's the answer to part A. Okay, so that's the initial state matrix. To calculate, uh, or to get the solutions for part B, we want to find the state matrix one month later, and then we want to find the state matrix two months later. So to do that, we'll take the initial state, which is 0.25 and 0.75, and we'll multiply that by our transition matrix. So again, that had entries 0.8, 0.2, 0.3, and 0.5. So let's see, now it's going to be a little bit of arithmetic. So 0.25 multiplied by 0.8, that should just give us 0.2. And we'll add to that, we'll take 0.75 and multiply that by 0.3. So there I'm getting 0.225. So that's going to be the first entry. And then we'll take 0.25 and multiply it by 0.2. That's 0 0.05, and then we'll add to that, we'll take, um, let's see, 0 0.75, and we'll multiply that by 0.7. So there I'm getting 0.525. So if we simplify here, 0 0.2 plus 0.225, that's going to give us 0 0.425. And likewise, if we take 0.05 plus 0.525, we're going to get 0.575. Again, um, if you have to do this stuff by hand or with a calculator, like I'm doing kind of off to the side here, recall that the when you add up the probabilities, it always has to add up to 1. So if you're doing the you know each computation, that'll be a clear indication of maybe if you well, if you made an arithmetic arithmetic mistake or not if they don't add up to 1 and notice 0.425 plus 0.575 those do add up to 1 okay so what it says is it says so it says one month later it says 42.5% are using rapid transit are using the rapid transit, and 57.5% of the people are still using automobiles. 
Okay, so now what we need to do, um, I need to grab another piece of paper. So what we need to do next to calculate the proportion of the people that are using the rapid transit system two months later, or I should, you know, two months from the original starting date, or one month after this happens, just to clarify. What we do is we take the proportion after one month, and again, we just multiply that by our transition matrix, which was 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0.3, and 0.7. So we're just doing the exact same thing one more time. Okay, so let's see, 0.425 multiplied by 0.8, so 0.425 multiplied by 0.8, that's giving me 0.34. I'll add to that, let's see, 0.575 multiplied by 0.3, I'm getting 0.1725 as my first entry, and then my second entry, I'll take 0.425 multiplied by 0.2, that gives me 0 0.085, and then I'm adding that uh, 0.575 multiplied by 0.7, so I'm getting 0 0.4025. Again, this is the type of stuff, um, you know, a calculator, or even better, you know, a computer program is great to do this stuff. It's, it's not really difficult, but if you're doing it, you know, uh, using a little scientific calculator like I am, it certainly would be very tedious to, to do it, uh, to find very many states. So let's see, when I add 0.34 and 0.1725, I'm getting 0.5125, and 0.085 plus 0.4025, again, just to make sure I don't do anything crazy here, um, I'm getting, I'm going to check that one more time, so 0.085, plus 0 0.4025, getting a uh, 0.4875, and again, that makes sense. You know, again, if we add those two numbers, we will get one. So it says after two months from the start, so after two months from the start, it says that we can expect 51.25% to be using the rapid transit, and we can expect 48.75% to still be using automobiles. Okay, so it looks like uh, right a little jump. We started with 25% on rapid transit. One month later, it was up to 42.5%, and now we're up to 51.25%. So you could just keep calculating states. We can cal calculate S of 3, S of 4, S of 5, S of 6, and look for that limiting matrix. Or, again, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find our stationary matrix. And, again, we know that this has a stationary matrix because our transition matrix, our transition matrix here is regular. Okay, so we're going to find the percentage uh, using the each type of transportation in the long run. Okay, so now we're going to answer part C. So we're going to basically find that stationary matrix. Okay, and we're going to use the same technique that we did in the, the other video. So we have to solve the equation S times P equals S. So we've got S sub 1 and S sub 2, and I'm just going to say S1 and S2. We multiply that by our transition matrix, and again, that had entries 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.7, and again, that's just going to equal S1 and S2. So from this, we're going to create a system of equations. So we'll create a system of equations, and we'll simply solve it. Okay, so if we multiply 0.8 and S1, well, we just get 0.8 S1, plus we'll have 0.3 times S2. That's going to equal the first entry, which is S1. And then what I'm going to do, uh, again, we'll just create another equation. We'll take 0.2 times S1. We'll add to that 0.7 times S2. Again, that's going to equal S2. 
And the other equation that we're going to use, again, just like a second ago, right, if we, if we look at the proportion, it always adds up to 1. So S1 plus S2 will equal 1. All right, so at this point, what I'm going to do, again, is I'm just going to pick on either the first or the second equation, and I'm definitely going to use the third equation. And I'm going to solve this using using substitution. So, I don't know, it's all the same to me. I'm just going to use the first equation here. And if we use the second equation, if I solve it using substitution, I'm going to solve for um, S sub 1. So if we subtract, we have 1 minus S2. And now I'm just going to substitute that back into my first equation. Okay, so we're just going to substitute here. Alrighty, so nothing, nothing too terrible. So we have 0.8 multiplied by S1, but again, we're going to replace that with 1 minus S2, plus 0.3 times S2, and it says that equals S1, which again is 1 minus S2. So now we've got an equation involving only S2, and we can solve that uh, just like a normal linear equation, which it is. So if we distribute, we'll have 0.8 times 1, which will just be 0.8. We'll have 0.8 times negative S2, so we'll have negative 0.8 S2, plus 0.3 S2 equals 1 minus S2. So if we simplify on the left side, we've got 0.8 minus, uh, I guess, 0.5 S2. That equals 1 minus S2. And now I'm going to add S2 to both sides. So we've got 0.5 S2 plus 1 S2. That's going to leave us with a positive 0.5 S2. We could also subtract the 0.8 from both sides at the same time. So 1 minus 0.8 is going to be 0.2. And now all we have to do is divide by 0.5. Well, we could always uh, multiply a numerator and denominator by 10 to give us 2 fifths. And 2 fifths is the same thing as 0.4. Okay, so it says S sub 2 is going to equal 0.4. And again, since we know that these values together, S1 and S2, add up to 1, that tells me immediately that S1 is going to have to equal 0.6. So it says my stationary matrix. It says my stationary matrix will have entries of 0.6 and 0.4. Again, the first entry corresponds to the people using rapid transit. So it says in the long run, so in the long run, it says we can expect 60% of the people to use the rapid transit. And in this case, the other 40% will continue using automobiles.